If you want to learn how to make this e-commerce website, keep watching this video because we're going to show you how step by step and it's going to be fully functional. So you're going to be able to have a professional e-commerce website up and running with WordPress that you can customize, learn how to manage and build and sell whatever you want on your own online store. So by the end of this video, you're going to have this exact website up and running. And again, it's going to be fully functional with WordPress and WooCommerce. And not only are we going to be building this homepage, but we're also going to be making this about page and you're going to be able to customize this page however you want. So if you want a background with a title and different columns or different sections that you can add whatever you want, and you're going to be able to customize this page however you want. So if you want to insert a background image with a title section and different columns with different modules, whether it's images or text blocks or even icon boxes, just like this, you're going to learn how to do this all in this video tutorial, including creating your own custom footer section. And we're going to show you how to make different types of products, whether it's a variable product with different options, and you'll be able to customize these pages however you want. Also, whether you want a sidebar or something just like this, the online store that you're going to make can sell affiliate products, variable products, and even single products. And if you're selling virtual or downloadable products, you'll also be able to create those. And you can see right here, we'll also insert a custom contact form so your visitors and your customers can send a message right to your inbox. So if you want to make a beautiful and professional e-commerce website and you want to save thousands of dollars building it out yourself, then keep watching this video because we're going to show you how step by step. And we're going to be using the Astro theme, one of the most popular WordPress themes available. So you can just drag and drop and copy and paste and make this exact e-commerce website step by step. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is we have to get hosting in order to install WordPress and then register a domain so that we can start making the e-commerce website. And you can see in the video description there, there is a link to the Hostinger website. And right here, this is what hosting is. It's going to allow us to install WordPress, upload all of our content and create our website using the WordPress tools. And Hostinger is one of the host providers that I normally recommend and also what I use for my own e-commerce and WordPress websites. So in the video description, again, there is a link to this page and you can save up to 75% off and there is a coupon code also. And with Hostinger, you get a free domain. We can install WordPress with one click and you also have the 24 seven customer support and there's a 30 day money back guarantee. And I think they're just really fast. They're reliable and I've actually had no problems with Hostinger and that's why I like recommending them. So once you come to this page, what you're going to do is come down and you'll see the different plans right here. And I like to choose between the premium and the business plan because this is all you really need for an e-commerce website, at least with this tutorial. And you can always upgrade later. So you can see that you can host up to 100 websites with each of these plans. And there's just a difference in storage and you get a free domain with some of these plans and the unlimited free SSL certificate. You can also create a free email with your domain weekly or daily backups. And you have the 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee and the WordPress auto install and all of these other features. So you can come here and you can check it out yourself. I'm just going to go and click on choose plan for the premium plan. And you can come here and you can go and select whichever option you want. So I like to recommend the 12 month option because you do have the 30 day money back guarantee and you also get the free domain with 12 months or more and it's just cheaper and it gives you enough time to know whether or not you want to run a website or not. So you can come down, pause the video if you need in order to put in your email address and also your password. And then you can select your payment option. And what I want to do is just down here when you're ready, click on the coupon code and you can just type in super one zero and click on apply and you'll see that the discount increases. So you want to make sure that you type that in just to save some additional money and then you can fill out the rest. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click on the submit secure button. And then we're going to go through the process of installing WordPress next. Once you get your hostinger set up, now what we can do is we can install WordPress. So we're going to create a new website and you should see this dashboard right here. So we can click on next and we can choose WordPress for the content management system that we're going to build. And you can create an email address that you want to use for your website and also add in your password. 
make sure you save that if you ever want to log in directly to WordPress. Otherwise, you can do it on Hostinger. And I'll show you how. So we can click Next right here. And we can choose to create an online store, which is what we are making today, since we are building an e-commerce website. And we're going to use the Astra theme. So you can just select that right here if you want to. And then we can just select the plugins that we need. So I'm just going to keep WooCommerce and I'll unselect the email marketing, Monster Insights, and also the all-in-one SEO. So just these two, WooCommerce and WP Forms, just so that we have everything set up. And we can click on next right there. And then you can search for your own email or domain. So you wanna type in your own web address and search to see if it's available. And once you find out that you found one that works, then go ahead and select it. You can also use a temporary domain if you don't want to buy or register one yet. So up to you, click on next once you're ready. And we're gonna wait for everything to install with WordPress. And once everything is installed, you should see the admin panel and you can click on it to go to your WordPress website. And this is what you should see once you get redirected. This is the Hostinger dashboard and the WordPress dashboard is right here. So if I click on this, you can see that this is the WordPress backend. And this is where you can go to see what WordPress is all about. And also on the left hand side over here, just a quick tour. This is where you can go to create pages or edit your pages your blog posts, upload images. And then we have WooCommerce right here, which we are going to set up to have the online store working to take transactions. And then you can create products and also where you can go to install or change your theme and also customize the theme and the colors and layout options. And then you also have your WordPress settings right here. So really quickly, if you go to the website and we can hover over the website name on the upper left and click on visit site, you're going to see that we have the demo template all set up right here. So what we're going to do is go in and maybe remove some stuff, customize some stuff, show you how to use the builder that is installed with this theme so that you can really create your products and also edit the homepage and all the other pages for the e-commerce website with WordPress. So I'm gonna hover over the website name again, click back on the dashboard and let's clean some stuff up and go through the settings really quickly. So the first thing that I want to do is just show you the WordPress settings. So down here, if you hover over settings on the left hand side, we can go into the general tab. And what you can see here is you can change your site title to your website name if you want. And then also you wanna keep the URLs the same because you can't really change that but you can change the admin email address if you wanna update that with a new address. And then down at the bottom, you can change the formatting and you wanna click on save if you do make any changes. The other thing is on the reading tab right here, if you want to set up to have your WordPress website just be a blog page, you can choose the latest post option as the homepage display. You can see right here that a static page is already selected, so we have our homepage set up. And we don't have a blog post page, but if you had one created and you wanted to write blog posts, then you would come in here and just select that blog page so that it defaults to the blog URL that WordPress sets up. And the other thing, I just wanna make sure in the permalinks, if you come in here, I like to make sure that the post name option is selected. And I like to tell people that just because this is the most SEO friendly option. So if you wanna make any changes to the permalinks or the URLs, then you can click on save, but it doesn't look like we have to change anything. So we are good to go. What I want to do really quickly is just go into the plugins tab. And if you also do that, we can click on installed plugins. And I just want to remove the Hostinger ones because we don't actually need these two. So I'm going to select the option right here and just deactivate these just because it will save a little bit of space. So I'm going to deactivate those. You can also delete them once they're deactivated if you wanted to and you can always activate these back. If you wanna add some new plugins, maybe you want to do something with your website that you can't, you can always search for some additional plugins which are tools that really help customize your e-commerce or WordPress website that you're learning how to make. So we're gonna be using the Beaver Builder today and that's already set up, so we are good to go. What I wanna do before we actually get started is let's go into WooCommerce and just set up the business stuff so that everything is integrated so we can start selling even if we just have one product and we wanna to link to it. So hover over WooCommerce and just click on settings. And I'm gonna click on the skip button up here because we don't need that. And you can see that we have the tabs up here that we're gonna go through. I'm gonna close this X right here for that other thing. 
and you want to type in your business address right here so whatever that is maybe you have an office or a website or whatever address that you use then go ahead and type that in and I'll do the same and then we're going to just save all of this so let me just find New York right there and we'll just type in a random zip code if you want to select where you're selling or shipping and you want to exclude any places you can select that in the drop down I'm going to enable the tax rates and calculations right here and then I'm also going to just have the other options selected if you want to change your currency you can just click on save once you're ready and we'll go through these other tabs together even if we don't have to make any changes so in the products tab I already have the shop page set up this is set up by default with WooCommerce so we can leave that and if you want to change the weight and the dimensions for your products if you're gonna put this information on the product page then go ahead and change that and you can always pause the video look at all the changes and everything or the options I'm just going to run through this a little quickly just to save some time because I've done this enough times which I know what I would do so again if I'm going too fast you can always pause the video so for the tax page I don't change anything and then for shipping I'm going to add a flat rate so if you want to do the same maybe you want to do free shipping or add a shipping zone we can just click on add zone at the top right here and then you can type in the zone so whether it's a state a city a region or even a country I'm just going to say type in the United States right here and for the region I'll just do the United States also and if you wanted to do state by state or different countries you can even add Canada or however many different regions as you want I'm just going to add the United States right here and then down here I'll add the shipping method so I'll come in click on flat rate click on continue and then I'm just going to type in the rate right here so I'll do ten dollars but if I wanted to use an equation maybe calculate different things like how many items or the weight or whatever it is you can see that there are short codes here so you don't have to just do a flat rate like this but it's just simpler for me and if I charge enough for whatever I'm selling then the shipping will cover itself so you can enable or disable this you can delete it you can edit it and then it's already saved once you add it so we can go back into the shipping zones and again you can add some different shipping zones so let's say you have Canada also and you want to charge a extra two dollars or something then you can add another shipping zone that does that and you also have the catch-all right here for any place that you don't have a shipping zone set up and if you want to add that and I'm going to let's assume that I have international customers and I just want to charge extra so I'm gonna just come in and just say fifteen dollars for anyone international anywhere and this is just a catch-all you don't have to do this but you can see that once you have that set up then we have everything right here and you do have some recommended plugins that you can use some of these are premium and in the WooCommerce settings there's the extensions right here so if you open that up in another tab you'll see that WooCommerce has a bunch of different plugins some are free some cost extra money that you can add to your WordPress or e-commerce website okay so just keep that in mind and for the payments tab before we even go there I like to actually install a plugin with WooCommerce to use PayPal but if you want to use Woo Payments, then you can install this and run through the setup. You have all of these other options that the Astra theme and Hostinger have added for you. But I like to actually go and install a plugin. So I'm going to hover over in plugins right here. And I'm going to click on Add New. And you can see right here that we have the search box. And I'm going to just come in here and type in WooCommerce PayPal. So you can type in the same and once you get your search results you should see the WooCommerce PayPal payments plugin right here by WooCommerce this is the one that I've used and I actually really like it and so I'm gonna click on the install button and once it's installed now we can click on the activate button once it's activated we want to go through the setup options so at the top over here you should see a notification if you don't you can always go back into WooCommerce click on settings and then just go to the payments tab so I'm going to click on the link right here that says account setup page so you can see right here that we are on the PayPal setup page now for the payments tab on WooCommerce and right here you can see that we have the box selected to enable PayPal payments if you want to also securely accept all major and credit and debit cards you can select this option and then choose 
which payment option that you want. So this is a card processing fee and it's very normal with e-commerce websites or even any type of website. That's how, or store and all that stuff. So I'm just going to just select both of these and we can always disable this stuff later. So I'm gonna click on the activate button. We'll get this pop up and you want to go through the security process and then type in your email address if you have a PayPal account. So how to web tutorials at gmail.com is the PayPal email that I'm gonna use. And then I'm going to just paste in the password. And you can see right here that we have PayPal connected to our e-commerce website now. So I'm going to just click on that agree and connect button. And now we can click on the button to go back to the WooCommerce website. That's gonna redirect us, refresh this page, and then we're gonna be good to go. And once it refreshes, now you can see that we have all of our credentials set up over here. So we don't need to select anything or change anything, but I wanna go through these other tabs just to make sure everything is selected correctly. So I'm gonna to go to the standard payments tab. And what we wanna do is we want to enable the PayPal feature. So I'm gonna select this box right here. And then we can come down. If you wanna change the name of your website or store right here, you can do that. And you can always hover over these question marks to see what these are all about. And then what I'm going to do is just come down and I wanna change the button locations because I just want it to show up on the checkout page. But if you want these other locations, you can keep them and you can always add them back. So you can just come in here, search for whatever pages or where you want to have the PayPal buttons. So I'm gonna remove the single product and also the cart and then also the other cart. So I'm gonna just keep the checkout options, but that's just what I want for my website. So down here, you can choose the color and the layout options. So you can see that you have your buttons right here. I'm gonna come in and change this to black and I'm gonna keep everything else the same, but if you want to change whatever settings or style you can right here. And then once you're ready, I'm going to just click on save changes and you can do the same. Now what I'm gonna do is go to the pay later tab and I want to disable this stuff. So I wanna make sure that it's disabled right here. So I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to just uncheck all these other pages or options also. And I'm gonna click on save. And once I do that, I'm just gonna to go to the advanced card processing and this one should already be disabled, but just to make sure, let's just click on it. You can see right here that it's unchecked. So that's what I want. But if you do want this, then you can always check that box up to you. And if you do make any changes, click on the save button, maybe test it out, see if you like it, see what it's all about. And you can always come back in here and just enable or disable it. So once you're ready, we are going to go to the accounts and privacy page or tab. Here, what you can do is you can look at these options and see which ones you want to select to allow for your customers or visitors on your webpage to do. So I'm gonna leave everything as a default, but you can make your changes if you want. And then down here, you have the privacy policy link. So there's gonna be a draft page in your pages. Once you publish that page, there's gonna be a link to it and it's gonna show up in these two sections. So let me just show you where it is really quickly. I'm gonna open up a new tab. If you wanna do the same, you can right click on all pages right here. And it's gonna open up a new tab of all your different pages that are already set up with the theme and the WordPress website when we imported everything. So you can scroll down and you can see that we have a privacy policy draft page. If you want to edit this, just click on the edit button and you can just come in here and you can type in whatever text or remove whatever you want. And then you're going to have the privacy policy all set up and you wanna click on the publish button right here to update or save your changes. So if you have to, you can click on it twice and then you can see that the page is set up. Very basic page, but it has all the text right here. And again, you can always edit this. And then just know that this is the short code that shows up right here. So there is going to be a link for the registration and the checkout page. Okay, so if you make any changes, you wanna click on that save button at the bottom. And then let's go to the emails tab. And right here, you can see whenever you get a new order or any order information, it's gonna to go to your admin email for your WordPress or e-commerce website. So if you wanna change that, go into the settings on the left-hand side, and then your customer is going to get notifications for whenever the status changes for their order. So you can see right here that the email is gonna to be to the customer email address. 
If you want to change the name who's sending it or the email, you can do that right here. And then for your template, if you want to change the colors, then you can do that here. And there are tutorials on the NYC Tech Club YouTube channel and everywhere else. And I'll also link you to the WooCommerce website where you can get tutorials and documentation on how to really use WooCommerce. So if you need some additional help, you can click save there. And on the integration tab, we don't need to do anything, but I'm just going to show you that it's here. And then for site visibility, I believe our site is already live, but if you want to change it to just the coming soon landing page, then you can update this. And then on the advanced tab, the only thing that we haven't done yet, and we're going to have to do if we want to have our website all set up is have the terms and conditions page. So similar to the privacy policy page, it's not already made for you. So you would have to create a new one. So I can show you how to do that really quickly. I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm hovering over pages and clicking on add new page. I'm just going to come in here and just type in terms and conditions. So this is going to be the terms and conditions page and it's just going to be a basic text page. So I'm not going to use the Beaver builder, but after this tutorial, you're going to know how to customize your entire website. If you do want to make the terms and conditions page all fancy. So if I click on publish right here and now I have this page, if I wanted to, I can use the standard editor and just type in my text right here. So hello, this is the terms and conditions page. And then you can just create some additional text and you can always edit this text right here. So you have the heading and all these other options. So super easy. But once you have this all set up and you click on save and update that, what we're going to do is on this tab right here or this drop down, let me refresh this so that we have the most recent information. We can drop into the drop down right here and I can type in terms and it should find the terms and conditions page and we can just select that. And now that's going to be the page that we just created. So whenever someone needs to go to that page or there's a link to it, it'll be set up. So I would just come down to the bottom and click on save right there. And you can always make a note to update the terms and conditions page. Everything else is going to be set up with WooCommerce. So we are good to go. And now we have our e-commerce website set up so we can take payment, take orders, and we'll get all those details over here. So you have orders, customers, reports, you can go into these and you can check them out. So whenever you do have some information, it'll show up over here and you can analyze how your website is doing and how things are converting. And then over here, you also have analytics, which is part of WooCommerce. So you can see even more details with the performance and everything else with revenue, orders, variations, your different options. And you can also create coupons right here. So if you wanted to in coupons, what you would do is you would hover over marketing and click on coupons and then you can add a coupon. So let's say we want to add one just really quickly coupon code, maybe first coupon, first order. Let's just make that coupon. And then you can create whatever type of discount that you want. Maybe it's dollars or percent. And then once you have the coupon, you're going to click on publish right here. And then the coupon code is really just whatever you typed in. So if you wanted to generate a coupon code and once you find whatever code that you want to use and you update it, it's going to just show up in your tab over here for coupons and you can see the usage and all that stuff. And you can always just remove this. Okay. So I just want to kind of go over that. If you need some additional details with WooCommerce, that's what we're talking about right here. Let's go and edit the homepage. And then we'll learn how to create products and then it's going to be all downhill from there. So again, the first thing that we're going to do is let's go and open up a new tab just to show you again that the e-commerce website looks like this right now. And if we want to change some of the settings for the colors or the layouts, if you're on the home page and you're logged in, you can just click on customize. If you're on the WordPress dashboard right here, we want to hover over appearance. And we can also click on customize. And once you see the theme options right here, what you can do is you can go into each of these tabs and customize all these different things that you see right here. So you can change the blog page layout if you have a blog page and even the single page layouts, you can come in here and choose whatever settings you want. If you want to change them from the default settings from the template that we have installed on our e-commerce website with WordPress. 
So first, let's go into the header builder. And in the video description, you will see a link to some demo content. So if you want to download that folder, go ahead and do that. And then you can go and click on the site title and logo. If you have your own logo, you can upload it. If you want to use the demo content, then go ahead and download that. It has all the different files that we're going to use. And you can always go and create your own logo and come back here also. So if you want to change your logo, you can just click on change logo. You'll come into the media library. I have all this demo content and also all my other images already uploaded. So you can see them over here. If you want to upload your own images or the demo content, click on the upload files tab and then click on select files and then just upload all the different images or one by one you can do it as you go through this video tutorial or anytime in the future. So for the media library, I have my content already uploaded. So let me find the demo logo and I have so many different options here. So here it is right here. I'm gonna select this and just click on select and you can see right here that it has the crop image or skip cropping. So I'm gonna skip that and you'll see that it shows up right here, but it might not show up right here because we have to upload it in the different sections. So in the Retina logo, I'm going to change this and also choose the demo logo. So let me just scroll down and find that really quickly. And again, select that and click on choose. And then you can see that it shows up right here. I'm also going to go into the transparent header, but if you want to change the width or anything, you can see that you can do that right here. So you can make it larger or smaller. Again, depends on your logo. Maybe you have one that already fits perfectly. So I'm just going to leave it and I don't know what happened to it. So let me just re-upload this really quickly and you'll see it show back up right there and I'm going to just come up here to the customized transparent header I'm gonna select that and I want to change the logo for the transparent logo just in case for my own website so I'm gonna come in here and again just choose my logo so if you have your transparent logo then you can use also you don't need to so this is just something that I'm doing and if your logo still shows the default template logo then you can come in and change them on your own whenever you are ready. So I have everything selected now. And again, you can change the size. And in the design tab, you have some different options here also. So just know that this is for the transparent header. And then if you go back into the header builder, you have your different sections right here. And this is the builder. So you can see that we have our site title and logo right here. So if I click in here, you can see that we have the logo and also if you want to change the site title you can and you can also deselect or disable this if you want so you don't have to have the site logo or the site title and you can move this around also so you can drag these things to wherever you want to place them and you have some additional options over here in the builder so you can see that you have these different cart or primary menus and you can move them to place them wherever you want I'm gonna leave them in the center just like this. So I'm gonna go back right here and I'm gonna click on publish because that's going to save my changes. And we are gonna change this background image. So even if you don't see the logo that we have right now, it's gonna show up a lot better in a little bit when we customize the home page. So if you wanna make any changes, you can go to the global tab and you can see that you can change your font settings over here. So a lot of different options. You can click on the pencil and go through them. It's pretty straightforward. And I imagine that you know how to edit that stuff. If you don't, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. And you can see right here that we have different styles for our different color palette. So these are the default settings that allow us to really just go in and these are gonna be one click. You can select these options and you can change the color palette right here if you wanted to. So for now, I'm going to leave everything as is. If we go through the video tutorial and some of these colors don't match whatever I'm creating with the images, then we can always come back in here and change this stuff. So it's really personal preference and that's why I wanna leave it up to you to choose whatever colors you want. Maybe you want red or orange or purple and you don't even want these options. You can always come in here and you have your color palette to choose your different base colors that you can use and you can also change your different colors over here. So for links, you have the basic and then also when you hover over stuff, you'll see that it changes. So I'm gonna change this back to the normal option right here, the style one. So again, up to you and you can always come back and change the colors if anything changes. Okay, so I'm gonna go back right here and these other options we don't really have to go through right now, but you can see for 
the button colors that you also have the normal and then the hover so you can see when you hover over this it does change and then you can change the text colors if you wanted to also so we're gonna leave everything as is I want to just show you that you do have these options and then you can also have the scroll the top button so if you enable this when I scroll down now we have this scroll the top button that brings us back up to the top so I'm gonna disable that but another option for you I'm gonna go back right here and we're gonna go and edit the sidebar or the widgets a little bit later but we can go to the footer builder and we can customize what we can right now so you can see that these are widgets so this is going to be on the widgets page that we can customize towards the end of the video but we can change the copyright right now so if you click in here you can see that you have your copyright and you can change whatever you want so the copyright has the short code right here and I'm just going to change maybe some of this text so maybe I'll just say sweet sweaters LLC as my business and that's not a real business so it's just a uh, random demo text right there but you can also add some additional text if you wanted to or even HTML and then over here you have your social icons if you want to change the colors or the links then you can add some additional ones for whatever social media that you have and you can go into these and you can expand them and then type in the URL for whatever profile page or channel page or anything like that on your own for your business or your own personal pages if you want to change the colors what you can do is you can always come in here and then you can change the icon colors to whatever colors you want so maybe we'll go with white instead so you can see that it updates just like that and then you can also change the icon size if you want to make it larger so you can see that it just becomes a little bit larger as we drag this also so I'm gonna leave it just like that for now and again we can update this other stuff as we go so for now let's just leave it and we're going to go back here and again you can't click in here because these are the widgets pages so I'm gonna show you where you can go to edit that and we'll come back to the main section right here for the WooCommerce page if you want to go and check that out I'm gonna scroll up to the top over here and just click on the shop page so that you can see and for the WooCommerce tab I'm gonna scroll up to the top just to go to the shop page really quickly just to show you because this is a preview page of what it looks like so if you want to edit anything here maybe the shop page then you can go into product catalog this is for the shop page you can change the container layout which is the page layout you can even add the product titles and all of these other options so you have the sidebar if you want to get rid of it or you can click on no sidebar and you can see that it kind of disappears so you can see right here that you have different shop designs a bunch of different options number of products per page all this stuff that you can edit for the default shop page for the individual product page if I click on one of these what you can do is go into the single product page and then you can customize the layout here so a lot of different options and you can scroll through and see if you want to change it and then maybe you want to change the structure so if you want to get rid of the categories you can hide that by clicking on the eyeball and then same with all these other options so you can scroll through this and see what your options are for yourself and then if you do make any changes just remember to click on that publish button right there I'm going to leave all these other tabs alone for now and again come back in here anytime you want if you want to change something with the global layout settings for your website but you can also customize a lot of stuff with the page builder so let's leave everything else as is for now because we don't need to change anything I'm gonna click on that save button at the top or publish and then close out of this and now what we're gonna do is we are gonna to go to the home page and we're gonna learn how to customize it so if we hover over pages and click on all pages you'll see a list of all your different pages for the e-commerce website with WordPress right here and what we can do is we don't actually use the beaver builder we can actually use the page builder with WordPress so we can just click on the edit button right here and what you're going to see is the home page right here with all of the different sections so if you just click into each of these you can see that you can change whatever you want and we do have some short code right here so we will show you where you can go to change that and then again in all of these you can see right here that you have the block and then you have these tabs right here to customize the different things so you have the icons and then you also have the content so you have the text boxes and everything 
So we're going to walk through all of this stuff and also delete some stuff so that we can make the homepage look like the demo e-commerce homepage. So we'll start at the top over here and you have the title of the page right here. This doesn't really matter too much because we do hide this. But if we want to edit the background and the section right here, we can click into it and you can see that we have the block. And for the block right here, the layout is already selected for us. And we can go into the style tab and you can see that we have the background image right here. If we want to change this, we can click on change image. And what we can do is we can look for the slider image that I want to use. So I'm going to scroll down and I should probably clear out some of this stuff and I will at some point. But right here we have the slider image that I want to use. So I'm just going to select this one. And if you want, you can use the same one or you can upload your own. And you can see once we upload it, it shows up right here and you can change the positioning for where you want to kind of center or have the slider image show up on the slider. And if you scroll down, there should be some background overlay options. So over here, you can see that we have an overlay and we have a color. So right now it's a gradient. And if I wanted to, I can change this to say another color. And we can also change the transparency to make it brighter or darker or move this around to whatever colors that we want. So I'm just going to keep it like this. I think it kind of looks nice. And it really depends if you like the text color or you want something else. Personal preference, again, really up to you. It's your e-commerce website with WordPress. So I'll let you decide on your own. But you have all of these other options here. And you can even add just a background color or borders or whatever you want. So you don't have to actually use an image. You can actually just have a background color if you wanted. So you have these different options right here. And then if you want to change some of the other settings right here in the advanced tab, you have animations if you want to choose any of these. So if you want to go with the fade down option, you can see that you can select that. You can have fade right, whatever it is. And you have all of these other tabs here that you can go through. And then once you have the container set up with the background image, all you have to do to edit the text that you see right here is you can click into it and you'll see at the top that we have this info box. So what you can do is you can type in whatever headline or subheadline that you want. And you also have some text down here. And so if I go to the demo e-commerce website, you can see that I have some text and I'm going to just copy this. And I think I have everything already pasted in, but and you can type in whatever text that you want right here. So if I wanted to, I can change the description at the bottom. So I'm going to go to the demo e-commerce website, just copy this text and then just come over here and paste this in. And if I wanted to, I can also change the font style. So you have all these buttons over here and in the block over here, you can go into the general tab or the style right here. And then you can see that for the description, you can come in here. You can change the color to whatever colors that you want. So depends on what you want for your e-commerce website. Same with the title section and then also the prefix, which is at the top over here. So for the button, if you come into the call to action, you can change the button type to a background color if you wanted to. So I can change this to white if I wanted. And then for the text, I can come in here and then I can choose whatever text color I want. And then same with the border or the button. So if I came over here, you can see that we have this border. It's solid right now. And then if I wanted to, I can change the color to the blue color also. And you can see that it just changes just like that. It's really up to you. I'm going to undo the changes that I made right here just to keep it what it was. But if you also want to add a link to the call to action, what you want to do is go back into the general tab and then for the call to action right here, you can come down and you can see that you can add the link. So if we wanted to, we can just type in the website name and then we can do the shop page just like that. And then if you want to open up in a new tab, then you can have this enabled. Otherwise you can open it up in the same tab. So I can click save right there. That's going to save my changes and that's pretty much all you have to do. And again, you can always add some additional modules. So you have all of these over here with the plus button. You can just click and drag them to wherever you want to place them. So you can always move them up and down. And you also have the design library right here. So if you click in here, you can see there are already pre-made templates that you can insert and then customize. 
So you have all these different tabs. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And what we can do is we can come down to the next section right here. And if you wanted to, you can change the text that you see right here also. So what we can do is we can come in here and I can change this text. So I'm gonna go back to the demo website and I'm just gonna copy this stuff and paste it in. So if you need to, you can pause the video to type in whatever you want and just know that this short code is going to populate the different products right here. So that's just some WooCommerce short code that is used with the builder. And there's a link in the video description to the WooCommerce documentation so that you can put in whatever short code that you want to show whatever type of products or whatever type of layout. So right here, I'm just adding some additional text just for this introduction to the product section. And again, you can always just delete this stuff too. You don't even have to kind of keep this so you can go up or delete that line. It's really up to you. And I'm going to just keep it like that or I don't know what I actually did. I think I added some spacing right there. So I'm gonna come back in here and paste this in correctly. And once we do, again, you have a bunch of different text and you can move this up or down these different sections wherever you want and you have the block over here, remember to go through the different options. So your content, if you wanna change the tag or the font size, whatever it is, colors and formatting, it's all gonna be here. And for the short code right here, I'm going to leave this because I do want the products to populate right here. If you wanted to show more products, then you can change the number from eight to maybe 12 or 15, 20, maybe just four, whatever it is. And then you have the number of columns right here. So we have four columns for the short code. If you wanted to add five or three, then you can change it right here with the quotes in between. So I'm going to just leave this. And again, we haven't added the products yet or customized them. So this is just gonna show up just with the demo products. And then down here we have another section and I kept this on the demo homepage. So down here, you can see that this is what I have and I'm going to just show you how to add that. So you can see right here that we can change the background. So to do that, what we can do is we can come into the block right here and in the style tab, you're going to see the image background. So if you wanted to just choose a color to make this a background like this, then you can always do that and I'm gonna undo that. But I want to choose the image option and I'm going to click in here to change the image. So I'm gonna scroll down and just find the image that I want to use. And you can do the same if you want also. So I'm gonna select this image right here and click on select and you'll see that it shows up. And if I want to change, let's say the background overlay you can see right here that we have the overlay type and we can come in here and I can choose something like this dark color and then make it less transparent or more transparent. And you can also change it to this blue color to give it that blue tint that might be with the website if you wanted to. Really up to you what you want to select. So you can choose any of these colors actually and you can just customize it. And once you're ready, just click on the outside of the section. And then we can go in and customize the colors and all that stuff or the text. So you can just click in here. And once you click in here, you're going to see the style tab and the general tab. And again, this is just like the beginning section of this homepage where we went to the slider and all those different text sections. So we can just come in here. So I'm just going to change this text and I'm gonna go to the demo website and copy this right here and just paste that in. And then we'll take the rest of the text right here and do the same just to save some time. So again, pause the video if you need to and if you're going to keep this section right here. So I'm gonna copy all of this and just paste that in right here. And then if you want to link the button to another page or anything like that, you can always go into the section and check it out. So we can come in here. In the call to action, you can change the colors right here. And then you have the link option right here that you can paste in so that you can link this to wherever you want it to go to. I'm gonna click on the save button right here just to save the changes really quickly. And then we can come down to this next section. These are little icon boxes that we can edit the icons and also the description. Super easy to do because we have the icon box right here. And if we go into the icon slash image, we can choose our icon with the content that is available. So I'm gonna come in here 
and you can see right here that you can choose whatever type of icon that you want and I'm just going to search for a cart and you have all of these different options and I'll just select the one that I want and then you can go in and change the description so super easy I'm going to actually just edit the video to update this entire section really quickly so if you want to pause the video to change this stuff or maybe even change some of the colors for the icons or anything like that you can come into the style tab again and you can do that on your own and then we're going to move on to the next section and now you can see that i updated the text and these icon boxes so you can do the same and if you need to again pause the video to do that what we're going to do right here for at least my website is i don't actually like these logos on the website so i'm just going to remove these by clicking on delete and you can see that it just removes it just like that and i'm going to remove the section also so i'm going to click on the dots right here and just delete that and then we have the testimonial right here if you want to keep that you can see on the demo website what we do is we just have another background image and then we have our text so what we can do is go back to the new website right here and i'm going to click into this container section just to change the background image really quickly. So if you remember, we just click in to change image and then we're going to find the demo image. So I want the one with the dress shirt right here and I'm gonna click on select and you can see that it shows up. And again, you can always change the background overlay if you want to, just come down to the overlay section over here and then click into the color option. So you can see that we have the overlay type right here and we can click on color and what we can do is come in here and you can choose whatever color that you want to use. So if you want to use one of these options, then you can select the color and then you can just drag the transparency to wherever you want it to be. So super easy and really just repeating the steps that we had earlier. And then right here you have this quote. So for a testimonial like this, I'm going to change the image and also the quote. I'll just take the demo content right here and just copy this and I'm gonna paste it in to save some time. And then right here, I'm gonna click on the image for the person giving the testimonial. And just as an exercise, I'm going to change this image. So I'll select the image that I want to add by finding it. Let's choose this one right here. And you can see that it updates and then you can also change the name if you wanted to right here. So I'm gonna just type in a name right here. And now what we can do is come down to this latest product section right here and I'm just going to change the text and again it's going to show some additional products but the ordering is different. If you look at the short code right here and compare it to the short code up here it's going to be different and again there is documentation on different short codes that show different variations of products or categories or different things for WooCommerce based on what you paste in. So I'm going to go to the demo website and just copy the text right here and just do it one by one. And again, as I do this, you can also pause the video or change whatever text that you want. And then we're gonna move on to the next section, which is really just deleting the call to action, I believe, because I don't think it actually works with the website that I have designed, but it's something that you have to decide on your own. So we're gonna leave this right here. And again, we are gonna be creating our products. And then down here, you can see that this is a sign up page. For the demo website, I have it removed and I just have the footer right here. So I'm going to do that for this section too. So I'm just going to click into it. I have it as the container right here. And then we're going to click on the dots and just click on delete. And that's going to remove that section. And now we should have everything for the home page. What we're going to do is just change the heading settings to make sure that the header shows up correctly. And then we're going to be good to go. So the last thing I want to do is I want to remove the transparent header. So what I'm going to do is just go to the Astra button at the top over here on the upper right. And if you click on the Astra settings, if you come down to the advanced settings and click on that, you'll get this pop up right here. And what we can do is for the transparent header, I'm going to disable this. So in your customized theme options, you might want to disable this too and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna just return the post right here and click on save. And once this is saved, I'm gonna go and view the homepage really quickly so you can check it out. And you can see right up here that this is what the 
menu looks like or the header section because if it's transparent, it might cover this stuff. So this is an option for you. And if you want, let's go back to the edit page and see what it looks like with the transparent header. So I'm gonna go back into the Astra settings. In the advanced settings, I'm gonna enable this and I'll click on save again just to update it. And then we'll go and check it out. And you can see that this is what it looks like. So it really depends if you want the transparent header or if you want to disable this to have a more background color or white color, whatever it is, up here. So this is what the home page looks like. And we're gonna go and learn how to create products in the next section. And then we'll learn how to customize the header and the footer in the other pages. So if you have any questions on how to edit the home page or anything that we did so far, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, we're gonna move on to the next section of this video tutorial. And now what we're gonna do in the e-commerce tutorial with WordPress is customize the shop page and show you where you can go to customize the product pages and also how to create and edit some of these products that are on the e-commerce website. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go back to the WordPress dashboard and to edit the layout for the shop page, we can hover over the left-hand side and we can go to appearance and click on customize. And the first thing that we can do on the theme options is we can click on the shop page to go to that page just so that we can see it. And we want to go into the WooCommerce settings and right here for product catalog, this is where you would go for the layout for the product page or the shop page. So you can customize everything here. And then for the individual product pages, let me just click on this product right here. What you would do is you would go into the single product and then select whatever options you want over here. And once you do, go ahead and click on that publish button. And I'm gonna close out of this. And what we wanna do also is we can go to the shop page. So I'm going to hover over pages and click on all pages. And right here where we have the shop page, I'm gonna click on the edit button. And what you might notice on the edit shop page right here is for the title of the page, if you have the eyeball not selected so you can see that it's enabled right here, what this is going to do is make the shop title show up or the page title. So if I save this and I go and view the page, what you'll notice is that we have the shop page right here or the title. If you want to remove this, what you wanna do in the shop page or the edit page is you wanna click into the title and after you have your title for whatever page it is, you can click on the eyeball right here to disable this. And then you can click on the save button. And once you do that, you can see that it disappears based on the layout settings, okay? So that's all you have to do for the layout for the shop and the product pages. And what I wanna do is show you how to edit or create some products. So what we can do is hover over new and click on product. Or if you are on the WordPress dashboard, there is the products tab right here. And you can hover over that and you can also click on new. So you can see right here that this is the product page. And what we can do is put in the title, the description, and then down here you would put in the price. And if you have variables or options, you can put that in here. And then you have the short description. And on the right hand side, you can add category names, product tags, which will help with the related products. And then you can also add the featured image and any additional gallery images. At the top over here, just know that in the catalog visibility for some themes, you will have a featured product section, or you can select this and then use the WooCommerce shortcode to just populate or show the featured products if you check this box. Okay, so let's get started. And the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the demo website. I'm going to just take the title right here of the product, copy that, and paste that in so you can type in whatever product that you are selling or the name of it. And then for the description section, this is the long description section. So this is the short description at the top. Down here is the long description in the tab over here. So this is demo content, so there isn't really much. It's just some gibberish, but we're gonna copy this just to save some time and paste that in. And then what you can do is down here in the product data section, if you're creating a product with just one option and just one type, maybe it's a book or a photo, then you would choose a simple product. But if you have a variable product with different colors or different sizes, then you wanna select the variable product. And what you're going to do is add some attributes, which are 
different variables and different options. And then you can click on save attributes and then you can come into variations, create the variation and then add the price or whatever it is. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment, but we're gonna do a simple product first. So this is again for just one type, one option. And if it's a virtual product, you would select this box. And then if it's downloadable, you can select this option and upload whatever files that you need to. So again, we're choosing a simple product and I'm gonna just type in a price right here. So I'll do $49.99. And again, random price, just random demo. And if you wanted to go into inventory, you can type in an SKU number if you have one. And you can also manage the stock. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with WooCommerce. We're just gonna cover the things that are necessary in order to get your products up and running today. But remember, we do have different tutorials with WooCommerce and there's a bunch of different help resources out there. So ask questions if you need. And once we have the price right here, we can just come down here and put in the short description. So again, I'm gonna go back to the demo website and this is the short description. So remember, it's the stuff right at the top over here. I'm gonna paste that in right here. And once we do that, we can come up and we can add our product image. So that's going to be the thumbnail that we use for this product. And I'm gonna scroll down and we'll use the same one even though it's going to be repeating this product, but that's with the demo website. So I'll select this one right here and just click on set product image. You'll see that it shows up. And then if you have some additional images, you would add them right here and you can add as many different ones as you want. So I probably won't add any, but I'm gonna just show you that let's pretend that we have some additional images. We can select these ones. You can see that they're checked right there. And then we can click on that select button and they'll show up. You can rearrange them. You can delete them, whatever you want to do to add some additional images if you want for your customers. Once you do that, you'll have the product categories and the tags. We're going to remove these demo ones, or at least I'll show you how in a moment. But if you wanna add a new category name, you can just come in and click on that button. And then right here, you can see that you can add a name. So we'll do sweaters for the category name. I'll click on add new, and you'll see that it shows up. You can add as many different categories as you want. And they're gonna show up at the top over here. And then also in the category section, depending on the layout that you chose for your product page. If you have any product tags, then you can add them here. So maybe we'll do women's and summer and sweaters, just some random tags. And again, these are helpful for related products to be sold or recommended on your e-commerce website. If that is something that is shown on the theme that you're using. So once we have all of that, we are good to go and we can just click on the publish button and that's going to publish or create our first product, which again, we can click on the view product and you'll see it right here. And so we have this product image, we have the category tags, short description, price, and then the add to cart button right here. So again, this is fully functional with WooCommerce. So we can add this to our shopping cart, we can view it, and you can see that we can update this, we can remove it, we can add a coupon code, and then we can come down here and click on proceed to checkout, put in the billing information. If we have shipping information that's different, and then we can use whatever payment option that we are using right here, which is PayPal. And then all of that is going to flow through your website into the WooCommerce dashboard. You'll get the notification and all that stuff. So again, you have the orders and then you also have your analytics right here. And just remember that you have your coupons. So if you have any questions about how to create a simple product, let me know. But that's what we just created right here. I'm gonna run through how to add variables really quickly. We won't go through creating a whole new product again because there's only one section that you really have to cover for a variable product that's different. So I'm gonna hover over products again and click on add new. And back on the new product page, I'm just going to type in variable demo right here because we're not going to go through everything. I just wanna show you the steps of adding a variable. So down here in the product data section, Remember that we're going to choose a variable product this time because maybe we have different colors or different sizes. The difference is when you the difference is when you have the variable product, you're going to see that the different tabs kind of appear or disappear. So you have some additional stuff right here. All you're going to do that's different is instead of adding the price right now, you're going to add your variables first. So you'll go into attributes and we can choose something like colors or sizes. So let's go with size right here. 
and then we can enter our different variable options. So we can do small, medium, and large, and maybe there's extra large, I don't know. But we'll just do those three. And once you click on save attributes and keep those boxes selected, you can add some additional attributes or variables if you want also just by clicking on add new. But let's just say that we have just one size, one color, or multiple sizes, one color. Once you have the variables, you're gonna go to the variations tab. And what you can do is you can just click on add manually. And so if you have one price, no matter what size they choose, then this is all you have to do. Just click add manually once, and then you can expand this and then put in the price right here. So we can just type in $39.99, and that's all we have to do. Let's say if that's good, then we'll just click save. But pretend that we have different prices. Maybe you're selling different types of coffee or different amounts. So maybe you have small, and then you have another one that's medium, and another one that's going to be large. So what you would do for these is you would have these different options selected, and then you would go into each one of them and put in different prices. So maybe the small is only $5.99, and you can fill out the information here, whether it's the weight and the dimensions or the SKU number. And then for medium, maybe it's a little bit more expensive. So the first one was $5.99, we'll make medium $9.99. And then large is going to be, let's say $19.99. So for this, now when someone selects these different options, what that's gonna do is give different prices. So let me just show you. Again, we didn't create the whole product, but I'm gonna publish this just so that we can see. When we click on view product right here, now when you select these options, you can see that the price shows up and depending on what variable you use. And again, you don't have to do different prices. You can have one price for all these different options, but if you wanted to, this is what you would do. Okay, so I'm going to go and delete this demo product, but I wanted to show you that that's how you can add variables. And what you can do if you want to add an affiliate product is again, just go and click on new product. And then the difference here is again in the product data section, you would click on the affiliate products option and then put in the affiliate link and then just paste in whatever information or customize the text to link to that affiliate page to check out. So that's how you can create products, really easy. And what you can do if you want is pause the video, create the different types of products that you need for your own e-commerce website because I think that is a very important thing to do if you wanna have your online store up and running and be able to sell stuff. I'm going to pause the video and I'm gonna update these products with different images and just populate stuff on my own so that we have everything in order to move forward so that we can see the updates and then we'll go through the different pages about page and the contact us page and then the header and the footer and we're probably going to be good to go after that so go ahead and pause the video if you need to to create some additional products or even remove these demo ones which you can do one by one or you can just select the ones that you want to delete right here and click apply and once you're ready push play and we'll move on to the next step and now you can see I updated my different products right here with different images and titles. I didn't change the category names just to save some time, but I will show you where you can go to remove the categories. So if you have the existing categories from the starter template and you want to remove those or the tags underneath products right here, if you click on categories, you'll see the different category names and you can always just click on the ones that you want to delete and then you can just click on the delete button or you can delete them one by one or even just edit these and change the names of them and also the URL slug. So you can do that and you can click on update and you can also come into the tags right here and remove the product tags if you have some based on the starter template or the demo content. So these are just the ones that we input on our new product so we don't need to change anything there. And then there are some different tutorials that you can also watch and I'll link you to a new one that I'll create that shows you how you can create the variable options so that you can have them stored in the WordPress dashboard or database so that you can just click to add them really quickly for your WooCommerce products instead of having to create them every time on a new variable product. So now if I go to the homepage, you should see in the shop section that we have our new products populated right here. 
and then same with the bottom section with the other short code and they're just filtered by different descriptions or different short codes so they might not be the same exact thing which is what we want and then same with the shop page you can see that we have a link at the top so if i click on that you can see that all my different products show up here and we also have the sidebar so if you want to edit the sidebar for the shop page and also for the footer section down here what we can do is hover over the website name and we can click on widgets or you can go to the dashboard and underneath appearance right here you can also click on widgets and what you can see here is the different sidebars or widgets and you can see that we have the main sidebar the WooCommerce sidebar product and then also these footer ones and right here if you click on the plus button just like the modules you can see that you have all these different widgets that you can add to the different sections for your e-commerce or WordPress website so first if I go to the main sidebar this is what you would see on whatever pages or blog posts if you have the sidebar options selected and then for the WooCommerce sidebar that's what you're gonna see right here and you can see on the shop page that the sidebar is right here so if you want to edit this or maybe remove anything you can always click into any one of these and you can go in delete it or just like the builder you have the block over here to edit this stuff and then same with the categories and you can always add some additional stuff right here so if you click on browse all and you scroll down you'll see all the WooCommerce type of widgets over here that you can drag in and just know I'm gonna keep everything just like this but if you want to change anything you can and what I want to do is I'm gonna to go to the widgets one two and three for the footer and just show you really quickly if we scroll down you can see that we have the footer here and I'm gonna remove some stuff so in the footer widget one this is just the menu so there's menus right here and I'll show you how to edit that in just a moment so that we can have our header and footer menus all set up but you would just select whatever menu right here and again this is just a widget so you can always remove this and you can add something else if you wanted for this first widget and then for the second one we have two of these logos on accident so let's delete one of these so now if I do that I'm gonna delete this entire section right here and what I can do is just add a new image which is going to be the logo so I'm gonna click right here and add an image and then I'll choose in the media library the logo that I want to use which is going to be just like the regular logo for the header but I'm gonna choose the different one I think I have a logo that just has the white text and if I don't I'm going to just add it really quickly so I'll come in here click on select files and you can see that we have the logo right here so I'm just going to select that and click on select and you'll see it show up right here and I just want to align this to the center so I'm going to click on the button right here just to align that and I'll click on update and then we have the other widget right here which are just some additional navigation menu items so again when you click in here you can see that this widget is the navigation menu and then you select whichever menu you have in the menus tab here so I'll show you in a moment but I'm gonna just click on update just to save that and I'm gonna go back to the website just to see now if I scroll down I should have my new logo right over here which we do okay so that's how you can edit the widget and the layout and the product page stuff so if we just go back one more time I'm just also going to note that the WooCommerce sidebar and the product sidebar are different so this is for the single product pages or the variable products whatever products that you create this is what the sidebar would be and then you have the WooCommerce one and if you don't add anything here I think it flows through so it's just gonna default to the WooCommerce sidebar so keep that in mind and if you have any questions or are confused let me know what I'm gonna do really quickly is just go to the menu since we just talked about the header and the footer and those widget menus so if you hover over appearance and click on menus you're gonna come here and we can go and edit the primary menu even though we haven't added or customized the about page or the contact page yet so I'm gonna select the main menu really quickly just click on select and you'll see your items here so if you want to remove any of the default pages maybe the testimonial page you can just click on the expand right here and then just remove that and you have all of your pages here that you can add so you can see that you can go to view all 
and add whatever pages you want. Just click on add menu and you'll see that they show up right here. You can change the navigation labels if you wanted to or just remove these and you can also drag these around to put them wherever you want to place them. And once you do, you can see right here that we have the display location, which is the primary menu. So I'm going to click on save right there. And so this is the header menu. And then you have for your widgets, the two other menus. So we have the contact menu right here. And when you go into it, you can see that these are custom links. So there are some additional options here where you can see that we can put in the phone number. So I'm going to just type in a different number just for fun right here. And I'm going to just keep that. And then for the contact info, you can change this to, to whatever email that you have. So maybe question at sweet sweater studio.com and you have your address right here. So again, navigation label, the URL is just the pound sign. So it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to change this real quick and you can do the same if you want to. And we'll just do New York, New York one zero zero one. And we can just click on save right here. And again, this is the widget menu. So it's selected and then same with the quick links. So you can modify this stuff and it's going to show up wherever you place it. So in the widget area over here for the e-commerce website. Okay. Super easy. And let me know if you have any questions about the menus. We haven't added the about page or the contact page. We haven't customized those yet. So we do have those links right here, but we need to go and do that. So we can hover over our pages right here and let's go and learn how to customize the about page. So on the pages tab right here, you have the about page. We can go and click on the edit button and you can see right here that this is the edit about page. And if I go to the demo e-commerce website, we have a custom title section right here, and then we can update the text and the images and also the icon boxes. So we don't have to go through all the details since this is stuff is what we already covered, but I'll just show you really quickly that for the title, you can see again that this is disabled or hidden. So the page title doesn't show up. And then we have the custom section right here that we can click into and we have the container. So if we wanted to change the background image, I'm just going to go to the media library and select the background image that I want to use and click on select. And then we can change the overlay if we wanted to also. So if you wanted to go with a general color, then we can select this one and we can just change it to whatever color that works for us. And then we can click out of this. And for the next section, you can see that there is this little background. So I'm going to remove that background image. And I'll let you customize this text yourself because it's super easy, but I'll change this image right here just for fun. And you can pause the video if you need to in order to update the about section or those bullet points or even add some additional modules. So I'm going to select this image right here. And then for this image gallery, if you want to use this and then edit the image gallery, you can right here. So you can just click on edit gallery and this is a slider. So there are some images and you can add some additional ones or remove these. And you can see that this is a carousel. So there is some different options here with how long you stay on the image. But if you want to remove this, I'm going to click into it and I'm just going to remove the actual image. So I want to make sure that I'm in the image gallery and right here, I want to just make sure that hopefully I'm deleting the right thing. I'm going to delete that image gallery. And I'm going to drag in an image module right below this box right here. So to do that, I am either going to click on the dots right here to add before or after or the plus button. And I can just click and drag this and you can see where I'm dropping it. You see that big bold line right there. So I'm going to drop it right here, click on media library and just choose my image. And then I'll customize it a little bit and add a background. So I'll click into the load more again and we'll find whatever image that we want to use. Maybe I'll select this one and you can see right here that we have this image and we can go in and customize it. So I can change the width right here. So I'm going to go with 800 and the numbers are all messed up, but I got to just type in 800 right there and then I can remove whatever I want. And then if you need to, you can always change the background, but it looks pretty good just like this. So I'm going to close this and this is what we have right here. 
So you can also update the icon boxes. You already know how to do this because we did it on the home page. So I will just leave it just like that. And then I'm going to remove this last section right here. So I'm going to delete this entire container with the logos. And after that, super easy. I'm going to click save. And now we have the about page all saved and good to go. So I can click on view page right here. And you can see that this is what the about page looks like. So if you have any questions, let me know. We're going to move on to the contact us page. And I think this might be the last page that we have. So you can see that this is what the demo page looks like right now. And then on the e-commerce website, this is the one that we are going to create, which is pretty much the same. And we can just remove some stuff. I think I'm going to remove this, but keep the contact form right here. And then we have our text. So to do this, we're going to go into the contact page and we can just click on edit if you're on this page or you can go into your pages list and you can see right here on the contact page. Again, we don't have the page title showing up and we can change the background for the title bar right here. So just like the about page, I'm going to go into the style tab and just choose the same background image just to have some consistency and you can always upload your own background images. And I'm going to click on select right here. And again, I can choose the gradient or whatever background overlay that I want to use. So I'm going to just select this option. And again, I would probably choose exactly the same transparency for both of these if I was really making an e-commerce website, but I'm just going to eyeball it for this example. So I'm going to click out of this. And then right here we have the contact us form and your visitors can just sign a message and send it to you and it should go to your inbox. And I'm going to show you the contact form plugin on the WordPress tab in just a moment, but everything should be set up and you don't have to do too much over here. You can change the text for the contact us and you can change the icons however you want. And on the right hand side over here, you can change the address and the contact information. Again, you can just go in here and change whatever it is that you want, change the icon. And then down here, you do have this map. So if you wanted to, you can click into this outer box and you can see that this is the Google Maps module and you can type in the address and it'll show the area. And then you can zoom or zoom out, make it as large or as small as you want or keep the default settings. But just know that this block does use the Spectra API key to display the map. So it says you don't need to create your own API key. So all you have to do is really just type in the address if you have a physical location. And then once you do, you are good to go. You can click on save right here. And I, again, I do want to just show you where you can go for the contact form, just in case you want to make sure that the address and everything is set up for you to receive this stuff. So you're going to go back to the WordPress dashboard and on the left hand side, you'll see the WP forms right here. And what you can do is just go into the settings. This is for the contact form and you can go through all of these tabs right here to set everything up and you can go through these tabs to set everything up, but everything should be set to go to the WordPress email address. So if you have any questions though, you can always go to the WP forms tutorial or website and get some additional help for this plugin. And I just want to remind you that you can always go into the media library and you can remove all of the demo content. So all of these different demo images, once you don't need them anymore, you can click on bulk select and just choose whatever selections that you don't need or anything. And then you can just select them and click on delete permanently. And you can just remove them just like this. And you can also go into your products and clean up those pages and whatever pages or even the blog posts that you might have as demo content. So pretty much that's all you have to do to create your e-commerce website. And just remember that with WooCommerce, you do have the orders options over here and also your analytics and you can create coupon codes. If you want to choose a new theme, you can always go to the Astra dashboard right here and you can go into the starter templates and you can choose a new starter template by clicking on the build templates and just go through the process again. But if you are happy with the e-commerce website that you have built watching this video tutorial, then that's all you have to do. So let me be the first to say congratulations on learning how to make your own e-commerce website with WordPress. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to customize and make your own online store and sell really whatever you want. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. 
But I hope this video was helpful and I hope you have a beautiful and professional e-commerce website and you make a bunch of money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.